Unity is the balance and the opposite energies. We're talking about the good self and the bad self in the self. We're talking about shadow work. Right. Right. So um, just look at it as a tree, the family tree. Left brain, right brain is the tree. Left brain, linear logic is the father brain. Right brain, abstract um, logic is the mother brain. The unity of the two allows you to to read what's being done with the mother brain. So in other words, the duality allows you to see the abstract from the position of logic and the logical from the abstract position, right? But you can't see neither one of them if you don't find the balance in the two. So the balance is critical in the duality of the self. Dubois, um, W.E.B. Dubois wrote in uh, Souls of Black Folks, a chapter or uh, called The Warring Soul, right? So when we talk about ego, most of the people don't really even understand the ego. The ego is yourself that you accepted from your life experience and the people around you, perception of you. Right. Your true self is your higher self. And the goal is to purify the ego self so that it can facilitate the energy coming in from the higher self. you got to have the balance. The duality has to be um, um, equal on both sides. That means you can't take sides. Hey, hey, brother. Um, some people saying your mic is staticky. Um, can you come out or come back, come back in or something? Yep, that happens all the time. So I already know. I'm, hold on one second. All right. So yeah, <clears throat> there you have it, family. The duality is important. Without the duality, you can't see what the fuck going on. You don't know what's really what. You know what I'm saying? And this is how you can get people that grew up so privileged their whole life. And then they get in the real world and they just go crazy. Okay. So uh, do, do it sound any better to you? Yeah, yeah, way better. Yeah. So um, if, if, so look, we came from the dirt. Literally. Like we, we part of this planet. Yes. The same as the dirt. Mm -hmm. Got people trying to tell me to accept some shit that don't have nothing to do with being from the dirt, right? So one of the things that we get tested with is can you get it from the dirt? Can you take nothing and make something out of nothing? Remember, mom make a dollar out of 15 cents. Right? Yeah. So um, when we look at, it's like Tupac said, uh, um, about his mama when she, even though she was strung out on drugs she always made it happen come the holidays right because she wanted her children to have better than what she had right so she was able to be from a position of balance she can get it from the dirt right you don't need no you don't need nobody to tell you you from the land because you know how to work the land right i used to teach that um when me and my father would do our school assemblies, I would always tell the students, uh, just think about if you came from the earth, why, why has it become so hard for you to live on the earth? And I used to break down how literally the human body is made out of the same elements that you find in the dirt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sodium, um, H2O, nitrogen. It's, the main elements that make up the earth, it makes up your body. And it's you know? also stardust. It's also stardust, facts. And I would tell them that too. So, you know, what the brother is saying, it's real. But unfortunately, family, we have spiritual predators in the community that are preying on your energy. They are preying on your naivety. And they're preying on your lack of knowledge. Thanks. Um, so, you know, me and the brother Rod Hayes decided to come together to pick our swords up, you know, as as the children of this earth. 
and really come together to address these things because it seems like in the last couple months it just been out of control you know it just seems like it's been out of control so we decided to come address some of these things a lot of y'all seen me um address you know isis wisdom and things that were going on with that i didn't know that our brother rod hayes had addressed her previously right so it's just funny how things connect like that it mean that we seeing the same thing what 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 state are you in brother i'm in michigan so this brother is in michigan i'm in georgia and we seeing the same thing so uh brother can you kind of start to speak to that before we really get it in can you kind of just touch on that with these spiritual predators so look <clears throat> the same as those bootleg preachers those uh child molesting emams right and those baby fornicating rabbis when mm. we become aware that these people are not operating in a in a um manner that's going to give us liberation we begin to get away from them so we absorb ourselves in what we are being told is the conscious community and we run straight into wolves and sheep's clothing they mm. use the names of the righteous in order to do their dirt they use all of the shit that you talk about all the shit i talk about then they go act like they made it up on their own or they discovered it on their own <laughs> they're not gonna never give you credit for the shit they stole from you they gonna stay in your motherfucking inbox while they talk dirty about you behind your back right this is how we know who they is they got the same modus operandi is those three uh pedophile sex cult member leaders that we just talked about preachers imams and rabbis Ooh. right only thing is they say well the people got a uh understanding that none of these religions <coughs> is uh beneficial to their spiritual growth so i'm gonna go set up camp over here so i can fleece them over here where they seeking spiritual growth can't nobody clear your current debt period Facts. when a motherfucker come to you and tell you that they can clear your karmic debt for you and they not the prime creator they full of shit. out the gate only you by your own personal life's journey can clear your own karmic debt right and we go to the priest to give us the um the tools to do the work you're not gonna escape without doing your work so they're what? using the fact that you don't know that can't nobody do your work for you because everybody want an easy way out it makes the the average person prime picking for those with pseudo knowledge damn bro yo for those in the chat put some fire emojis in the chat yo and put the get them likes up man because our brother is dropping some real science what he's saying is true like as a practitioner of, of voodoo this is something i see all the time where people could come to me and i see what's going on and they'll tell you listen this is what i can help with but the rest you got to do the work because it's not just going to come we snapping fingers and shit is cleared up if somebody tell you that it's a that's a damn lie they're preying on something within you our our ancestral spirits these ancestral energies they are here to assist us not pick you up like a little child and carry you all the way to where you got to go they are here to provide assistance so when people come to you and they sell you these dreams you got to watch them um speaking of karmic debt you know uh me me and the brother rod hayes we had a conversation um and that conversation was basically you know based on some of the experience that he had with uh isis wisdom uh so brother can you kind of speak to you know the situation that took place with isis you know where she was kind of trying to funnel in um 
you know, people so that you can clear, she can clear the karmic debt for yeah, out so, of it. Look, I'm on a campaign to free Larry Hoover, right? I'm telepathically linked to Larry Hoover. She tells me supposedly in confidence that Larry Hoover did. You don't, the world don't know it yet, but they killed him a long time ago. They've been executing him. That's bullshit. So Larry got upset when she told me that because this is called the soft sell. They want you to sell out, but they know that certain characters, you can't come and offer, you can't offer me no money, right? If you've come to offer me money to do something, I'm going to immediately get pissed off because I'm not in this shit for money. Right? So they try to slide a bitch under you that ain't no fucking earthly good. Excuse the French, but I got to give it to y'all the way I feel it. It's a, you on King Brujo's channel, bro. You got to do that. So when they send this stinking ass bitch, Elijah Muhammad said the last trick of the devil would be to freely give you his woman. And we thinking they talking about a pale skin woman. No. The bitch look like us, but she ain't us. I don't care about the sex, so that won't work on me. So now if I, if you can't make me sell out with money and you can't make me sell out with sex, you can't make me sell out because them the two things that's the Achilles heel of all of the motherfuckers that came to this point. Can you say that one again, brother, for the people in the back? Yeah. If I won't sell out for the money, and I won't sell out for the sex, there's nothing they can offer me at this point because those were the tools of their uh, assault on all of the ones that preceded us. We the elders now, Brujo. We the elders now. So as one of the elders, I'm not falling for the shit my daddy fell for because he liked good pussy. I like good pussy too, but I'm not going to sell out for it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. So she approached me with something called the soft sell. The soft sell would be to, hey, brother, I got this valuable piece of information. It's an inside scoop. Don't nobody know it yet. I need to give it to you. My first question is, you don't know me from a fucking rock in Iraq. What make you want to give me some G14 classified top secret information? True. Who am I that you got to offer this information to in confidence and in secrecy? Mm. Right now, being I'm aware of how all of our leaders got took down, that secret squirrel shit is a murdering weapon. They come with that secret squirrel shit in order to give you the impression that they're giving, making you privy to some top secret shit. Mm. But what she did never know I seen her coming before she got here. Right? Big Mama told me, don't say nothing. Just listen to what she telling you. Don't say nothing. So I ain't say nothing. Big Mama said, drag that bitch out. And she gave me all of the signs that I went over in the video I did about her. No mercy. When Big Mama tell me to drag your ass out, you're going to get drug out by your foot, by your hair. By your nose, I'm gonna snatch you by the bottom of your jaw, but you getting drug out. I'm gonna whoop you in the head with the truth so bad that you're gonna go into a reclusive state. Now, when I put that information out there, it was because it was necessary, but I didn't continue on because it wasn't necessary. Mm. Right? She went and slid right on in under another so called conscious brother, and he bit the hook. That I warned him about. Who was this conscious brother? Uh, we, we, we name dropping? Go ahead, man. We we good. Okay, she slid right under Rashad Jamal. Soon as he took the bait, that nigga went to jail. Mm. That's not no fucking coincidence. Right? Me and Rashad had no issues. She slide under that motherfucker. And he on the video saying, fuck Rod Hayes. Mm. Fuck Kalai. Fuck YP, Young Pharaoh. And it was another brother he said, fuck him too. Right? 
I had never known him to have any conflict with anybody other than young Pharaoh. I never knew him and Kali to have any issue. I never seen it. But soon as she slide up under him, he believe in his heart of hearts. He riding for one of the queens on the land. He posts a ride. Mm. But she was an imposter the whole time. And I had already gave them the word, the heads up. This bitch is coming for the soft sale. So when she lure him in, the first thing happened is he go to that's that's not no coincidence. That's crazy. And I see on videos like she really riding for him. She don't even know his fucking website. You know, so this is a whole different uh uh approach to the ones that's doing the work. So now people want me to speak up on the free Rashad Jamal situation. I can't speak on that because he said fuck Rod Hayes. So yeah. fuck me. Okay, well, I don't have nothing to say about your situation. I can't say nothing because it's fuck me. Right. right. So now she came with the bullshit. I told him and he fell for it. Mm. Hey, can you excuse me one minute? Somebody knocking on my front door. That's cool. Yeah, man. I told y'all. I told y'all shit was about to get deep. Shit was about to get deep today. Now you hearing it right, you hearing it right from the horse's mouth. You know? You hearing it right from the horse's mouth, y'all. That's real. Y'all got to watch these people, man. Yeah. Yeah. So y'all got to watch these people. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know, everybody don't. That's that's why I always tell y'all, man, stop getting wrapped up on how a motherfucker look, man. Everybody that look like you ain't for you. And stop getting wrapped up all the time in how the message is getting delivered because sometimes people deliver messages in ways that may not for instance my big mama big mom sometimes she can be harsh with how she delivered a message but big mom love me big mom gonna tell me the real shit you know what i'm saying and if you're a person that gets so wrapped up on delivery or how people are saying it just because they make you feel good and they use certain words you'll get lost in the sauce because they look like you you know what I'm saying? And that and we can't keep falling for that type of shit. You know? Um, brother, yeah, you can continue, you know, with, with what you were saying, man. Right. So look, I'm not gonna put no dirt on Jamal, right, Rashad Jamal name, right? Even though he said fuck Rod Hayes, I'm just not gonna speak on it. Cause when we did have a conversation, which a lot of people don't know, he invited me to his page on a different platform. I think it was like Telegram or something. And we did a whole class together in his personal platform, right? I don't have no hard feelings, no animosity toward him whatsoever, but I just can't work with him because fuck me. That's real. You know what I mean? That's It ain't my problem. It's not my, um, it's not my responsibility for a motherfucker to say fuck me and for me to kiss his ass. Big mama told me I don't have to kiss nobody ass for this work. Yeah. He told me if a nigga wants you to kiss his ass, kick his ass. That's right. So, real. you know, Big Mama talk harsh because she got to cut through the bullshit of the coddling that we went through in the church. She can't cut through that bullshit trying to be politically correct. The yeah. politics is not correct. So you can't be politically correct when the politics ain't correct. Right. And I want to address something, too, because, you know, a lot of people, they might not understand the energy that comes from brothers like me and Rod Hayes. Um, you know, a lot of times they'll take that and say, you know, we combative or, you know what I'm saying? We just creating issues. But here you have two brothers that people put that on our name. But look at us. We just came together to tell you all the truth. You know, this, this is how I came across you. Uh, every day somebody send me receipts for stuff I already said. 
And then I end up putting the receipts together and then I make a post. Mm. One of them I was going through, somebody sent me a video that you did addressing her uh, slight at you, right? So she get a whole description of you, but she won't say your name, <laughs> right? That's some coward shit. Right. I'll call that bitch name out in a minute. I have no respect for her. So when you hear me call anybody a bitch, that means I'm ready to fight right now. There's no excuse or nothing to hold me back. You lucky you ain't standing in front of me because when I call somebody a bitch, man, woman, or child, I'm ready to fight. It's not personal. Right. I just want them to be mad enough to swing. <laughs> right. So when Big Mama tell me to drag somebody up, that this is what this tells me. Big Mama don't never tell you to drag a righteous motherfucker out. Mm-hmm. She always say give aid and assistance to that righteous effort and that righteous endeavor. When she say drag her out, that means no mercy, no respect, no honor, straight disgrace this bitch to the public. Right? Because if Big Mama was doing it herself, that's what she'd do. She'd be like, now you see this bitch here? This no good bitch did. Woomp to woomp to woomp. Tell it right there in her face. Right? Now, it's been people that have been asking me to not say nothing about her. I, I said what I had to say. This is not an ongoing thing with me. I don't have to make every video about ISIS wisdom. That's not what I do. I'm here to tell y'all it's imposters on the land. Infiltrators. They look like us. They mm. not us. Mm. Right? They try to sell you liberation for a fee. You can't sell freedom. You have to earn freedom. You have to work to be free. You have to put yourself into the position where you unfit for slavery. Right? And how do you do that? Because you have to self-educate. Right? You can't rely on the educational uh uh, mandates of your enemy to tell you how to get free. Mm. Ain't your enemy not gonna never tell you how to get free, but he'll give you everything you need to stay in bondage. Facts. So this is a de facto system. De facto is a legal leaves term, which means that it's an artificial system that don't really have power. The de facto system in law is acting under the color of law. That means it got all of the appearance, but none of the real power. Mm. So we go along with the system because we believe that the system is in some kind of way our authority. Right. Right. I like that comment. Voodoo freed me. Right, when I told them motherfuckers, if they ask you what Ryan Hayes doing about this shit, tell them voodoo, motherfucker. Tell them voodoo. Yo, hold up. I got to tell them. This brother come from some real, real hoodoo shit. When you told me the story, um, or when you was born, see, y'all don't know. This, this concept of being children of spirits, this has always existed. You know what I'm saying? Um, brother, brother Rod Hayes, can you, can you tell them the real, the, the, the real, uh, hoodoo story? Well, the first thing they need, the first thing they need to know, King, is I wasn't just absent, uh, haphazardly born because my mama and daddy decided to fuck. I was conjured up. Then when I came into the physical form, I was blessed in by my big mama, Mother Margaret. Right, and she put this. I'm a baby. I still remember this shit like it was yesterday. I'm like six, seven months old. She grabbed me, hold me upside down by my ankle and act like she going to drop me. I ain't cry. And she said, you, she told my mama name is um, Shirley, right? That's her uh, middle name. And that's what everybody used to call her. She said, you see this here, Shirley? You see, look at here. She dropped like she was going to drop me again. You look like you got the bear in here, baby. Talk that I go go. So. At the time, I'm a baby, so of course I don't know nothing about no fucking bearing or none of that shit, right? 
So as I get older, find out who the Baron is. That's that's the uh, Baron Samadhi. Yeah, Baron Samadhi. Yeah. Right. Baron that's, the, that's that's the uh, patron saint of criminals, orphan children, and divorced widows, or divorced women and widows. Yeah, the one that walk you to the other side. The yep, one keeper of the crossroads. The keep the, the the keeper of the cross the the, the cemetery. Actually, as me being a child of Eshu and and brother Rod Hayes, you know, having Baron Samdi as his guardian, me and him really have a deeper connection than what a lot of people can even realize because we play similar roles in society. You know what I'm saying? One of the things that Baron does is he cleans shit up. That's what they sent me here for. He cleaned Big shit. mama told my mama he ain't gonna leave no stone unturned until he get all the imposters out. That's right. what we're talking about today. The imposters is the spiritual predators. Yes, sir. The ones who come to you with a motherfucking peace sign in your face, but they as soon as they hug you, they stab you in the back. Yes, sir. Right? So I'm telling the motherfucker who they is. I, I don't have no problem with that. Right? But now we need to be looking at who sent these motherfuckers? Because some of the shit they doing, they not even smart enough to come up with that bullshit on their own. Right? right. So who sent them? Look mm. at their agenda. Selling paperwork. That's the Morris trap. Right? The Morris trap is the paperwork. The paperwork is a paper chain that gives the illusion that the de facto system is the de jure. We are the de jure. We are the rightful heirs to the earth, right? We are earth-born children of the stars. Yes, sir. Accumulated stardust in human form. Yep. Right? We are, we are operating a neutron star level of energy, but we can't even recognize it because we being misled because they weaponized our spirituality against us and gave us religion. Man, and, and you know what's crazy? Um, you know, when, when we had our conversation, um, Brother Rod Hayes said something real profound. And he what, what he said was, it's so much, basically, it's so much fuckery in the game. He was like, man, you know what, Brujo? It's so much fuckery in the game that when a real motherfucker like you come along that's really about this shit they can't even see it often because they got so caught up in the fluff in the in the you know the feel good stories that they sell you to get money out of your pocket and things like that so family y'all got to have better discernment yo you got to have better discernment in how you picking these people because they picking you you know what i'm saying they picking you apart and they taking what they can from you and so y'all got to be able to see through that. See, that's one thing that the Baron does so well is Baron can see through people. You know, this is a this is a deity that deals with the dead. He can see through your soul. You know what I'm saying? Very similar to Eshu. They can see through you, man. And that's why people, a lot of people won't like somebody like me or Rod Hayes because they cannot hide from us. And then when we see him and we put him on blast, they swear up and down. We wrong because we fucking with the bag. Mm-hmm. Speaking of the bag, uh, you was talking about a conversation where basically, you know, I, I think them karmic, what, how much does Isis Wisdom charge for those karmic cleanses? It don't matter what she charged because she can't cleanse your karma for you. <laughs> she can charge, look, she can charge $5, but she can't clear your karma. But the reality is she, she charged what, 1500 2000 a pot, something like that? Right. She got yoni cleansers for fucking uh, absorbing amount. Yoni yeah. priestesses that actually put a price on it don't even charge 50% of what she charging. Woo. Right? Now, her, her rebuttal was that she catered to a exclusive uh, uh, group of people Mm -hmm. And you get what you pay for. That's her argument. Well, what the fuck you on my fucking shit for? Right. Right? Because I'm not I'm not charging a motherfucker for nothing. I'm going to tell y'all motherfucker every goddamn thing going on. I'm going to tell you from the false government 
to the conquistadors that brought that bullshit over here with Columbus, how they scouted us out almost 100 years before Columbus ever came so that they knew who we was when they sent that some bitch over here. And that's crazy because, you know, like he said, man, nobody can, com yeah, Gemini 10, communicating to Ifa and spirits on walkie talkies. That's what she do. Um, now, it's crazy because y'all got to realize that, like I told you, these people, they're going to prey on things that they know you're desperate for. People want to cleanse karmic things that came with their parents, with their grandparents, things like that. And so when somebody come and just say they can clean it off for two racks, how many people going to jump on it? Because what really is supposed to happen is she's supposed to help imbue you with the, the, the tools needed, like our brother said, so that you can get the job done. That's what our spirits are there for. She's charging y'all prices that come with initiations in Nigeria and Cuba. It's the reason why those initiations cost that much, because you got to take care of the community, not for you to take the money and run talking about you cleansing somebody's karma off like you sent her a, a motherfucking a dry cleaning. You know what I'm saying? Don't work like that. Don't work like that. Listen, when you pay, when you're paying two, uh, two, three thousand dollars for ceremonial stuff, that's when people are actually going out buying animal sacrifices. People in the community got to cook the food for you. People in the community got to come from where they at and play the drums from you. People got to go buy herbs. People got to have other priests come to help and do things like that. So you're taking care of the community when it's things like that. And when it's that high, it's usually initiatory. It's not because somebody said they can clean your yoni. That's some nut shit. I never heard nothing like that. Look. The, the bottom line is this. You said something that immediately clicked my awareness, right? Because you said if a motherfucker don't pay the messenger to send the message or honor the messenger to send the message to the Eurisha, they masturbate. They feel good, but it's not going to produce nothing. Right? right? So when you was talking about if you don't honor SU He's not going to take your sacrifice right. to Oshun, right. to Obatula, or nobody else. Because you got to honor the one who's going to carry the message for you first. Yep. Right? So if you look back in the history, matter of fact, you go to the movie 300 and when the messenger was sent to Leonidas. Right? If the messenger had been righteous, Leonidas would have gave him a bag of gold. Mm. What did he do instead? Kick that motherfucker in the hole. Why did he kick him in the hole? Because he he knew he came on some bullshit. So you don't get no propers, no honors. You are a fraud. And that's what we was dealing with. Right? So when you break down the ears of hierarchy in the Orisha, they ain't just, you could just walk over there and say, hey, Oh, shoot, baby, come on and hook me up. Right. That's not going to happen. If you don't know the ranks in the hierarchy, all you're going to do is be treading water in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. And that and that's what I try to tell people. Like, you know, when she was uh, saying, you know, she could talk to e on the walkie-talkie, the next thing she's going to say is all you got to do is run a motherfucking water hose and you could just be talking to Oshun. And right there, you're going to recreate it. You know what I'm saying? That's the next, like, how far, where do we stop? You know well, what I'm saying? You know, the million dollar question is, who on the other side of the walkie-talkie? Woo! That's the million dollar question. <laughs> True. Right? We all know the Ogun walks off, carry a big stick, and will bust your ass. Yes, sir. Right? So, when... You see, when you start messing with the children of the Orisha, you don't even know what you're getting into because they don't have to do nothing. And the Orisha energy is already going to start defending you before they ever get to you. Right? So when you see them, it's like somebody pulled the curtain down behind the, 
the man behind the curtain on Oz, the Wizard of Oz, right? You see this motherfucker pushing these buttons, talking on these walkie-talkies and shit, and they don't think you see them. Right. Right, because average people don't see them, but we've been here. We've seen all this shit before. Hold on. Uh <laughs> Queen Talk Session said she'll say BS like set your house on fire to talk to Shango. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like now, that's how that like that's how far it starts to get, y'all. Yeah, that and that's why it's important, man. When when y'all tuning in, you gotta start looking at other factors, you know, to really protect yourself from these spiritual predators. Who the fuck are they tied in with? Like like my brother said, who is behind that? Who is behind the walkie-talkie? Who's behind the veil? Who are these people associated with that's credible? Who are they linking with that have a name, a reputation? It's more than views, y'all. You know, it's people that don't got no views, but they they plugged. Right. They, they take the ones who they know, like they see you, so they slide up under you and you don't buy it, right? If they think you buying it, they promote you. Mm. But when they realize that you're on a different frequency now, they have to reverse and tear you down. Woo. Big Mama said, go to everybody's house and knock on the door. It don't matter whether they're the righteous or the unrighteous because they got righteous motherfuckers in the house. Mm. So go talk to them motherfuckers and tell them you got my children in that motherfucker. I'm putting your ass on notice. The spirit's gonna do something to your ass on the level that you didn't expect because you're trying to hold hostage what's righteous. This mm. is this is the Jubilee year. Man, it's real. You yo, you know what's crazy? Uh what Rod Hayes is saying is true because I'm gonna tell y'all a quick story. So my great grandma, rest in peace. Um, one of my cousins, man, he got in a fight, mind you. You know, he was like 16, 17, he was in the streets. And he had got in a fight outside of her crib. And, you know, she came outside and she like, baby, what's going on out here? Um, and he like, man, you know, such and such, this and that. And um, she she said, well, what do he do? She, he was like, man, he owe, he owe us money, this and that. She said, well, you should have shot him and walked inside. When Big Mama tell you what it is, you don't think you just, you won't go. Yeah. But see, we always had a Big Mama. And the ones that's not from our community, you can tell how they respond to Big Mama. Right? If they don't have respect for Big Mama, they're going to try to rebut her when she comes speaking harsh to them. Woo! And that's the wrong thing to do because... All of us know at the family reunion, we got the uncle that's to be made example of by the rest of the uncles. Yes, sir. At every family reunion, this nigga nut up and the rest of the uncles, one of them that's the, the, the family enforcer come, hey man, don't bring that shit to Big Mama house. This is No matter what beef you got with me and the rest of the family, when you get to Big Mama house, you put that shit on the shelf until we leave. Facts. Right? And if you don't want to act right, Big Mama got four, five of these boys going to act you right. 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 They going to learn your ass something. They ain't going to teach you. They going to learn your ass something. Yeah. You know? And then this is the problem that they didn't expect. Because when they called the Baron, that's the worst motherfucker. <laughs> this nigga got to leave the crossroads ushering the dead to come to the physical world and deal with this mortal ass bullshit, right? So they don't like to call him because he's unruly, incorrigible. Can't nobody make this nigga do shit. He Can't. only gonna do what Big Mama and Mama said. He don't give a fuck what y'all think, right? So she said, find the imposters on the land, flip their ass out in the open. Tell them what we was doing. Give them the blueprint of the motherfucking operation so that all of the people on the land, from the land, know there's imposters on the land and we rallying together in order to purge the land. Yes, sir. 
right? So all contracts forgiven in the Jubilee year. That means that shit is a wrap. And not only is all contracts, but all debts is canceled, right? So you got this motherfucking uh, uh, actress pretending to be Queen Elizabeth dead ass, right? And the motherfuckers can't even see the difference because she's a lookalike. They think it's the same bitch. The queen been dead. When the crest fell off the gate of Buckingham Palace, she was what you would call El Morte, the dead. She's no longer in physical form, but here they got these motherfucking looking like actresses that they've been using for the last 10 years to make public appearances as if it was uh, Elizabeth or a lizard bit. Goddamn lizard bitch. Right? So now here we is, we sitting here telling the people on the land, hey, this shit over with. We on the Juneteenth campaign to alert y'all that it's over with. That's all we doing now. Right. And let me tell y'all something, man. Because, you know, ISIS really sent y'all on a dummy mission to, to Oshun. Let me tell you something about Oshun. <clears throat> One thing that people in the practice will tell you, don't go to Oshun crying because she'll give you something to cry about. Oh, yes. Don't go to Oshun with all that because she will give you something to cry about. Understand what I'm telling you. That is big mama energy in this motherfucker go to big mama with some dumb ass shit she will give you something to cry about nigga oh and, yeah oh yeah me yeah yeah don't matter all, all, all you gotta do you know what i'm saying is read between the lines you know what i'm saying read between the lines and have discernment y'all you know our brother is giving y'all a real game on how to spot these motherfuckers man and y'all have to do better with spotting these people and not only spotting them X they ass out the community. X them out. Don't give them no burn. Don't give them no airplay, yo. Yeah. But they'll keep scamming people. They'll keep draining the energy dry, sucking you into Mexico. Next thing you know, motherfuckers is disappear. Y'all better not take y'all asses to, to Mexico with no goddamn ISIS, no wisdom. Now they can go down there if they want to. <laughs> I wouldn't advise it, but take your ass on down there and see what happens. Cause you're gonna get exactly what she gonna get if you up under the bitch. And she whatever she got coming, it can't be nothing good because she ain't doing nothing good for the people. She gonna listen to uh King Brujo, she gonna listen to Rod Hayes and she come back and act like she said it. <laughs> I was the first one to tell y'all, bitch. No, you wasn't. All this shit time damn stamped and dated. Right? All this shit time stamped and dated. You late. You just don't want to tell the people where you got it from and that you sucking the life out of somebody else's shit to put life into a dead entity. Right. That's real. That's real. And you know what? It's crazy because this is another thing. These people are so arrogant, yo. These spiritual predators are so arrogant that they think that they are the creator. They think they're everything. They think they're this. They have no humility. And so when they come across people, they often treat them as if these people are nothing because they're everything. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, with, 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 with that situation, she doesn't realize she's talking to a real motherfucker that's plugged into priesthoods all over. But she's so arrogant that she can come and be disrespecting and this is not just her. We see this all over the place, man. We see this constantly over and over and over again. You know what I'm saying? So y'all got to be aware of that too, yo. A overly godly motherfucker that's going to come on here and listen to our people of the earth having fun jamming to music and be as low vibrational. Motherfucker, are you high vibrational all day? That's because they don't know our culture. They don't know our culture. They not they not us. We, we pass messages in the music. We pass messages in the music all day long, and they sitting here believing that they the only ones get this look what she tell me. Now, this is always a red flag. She told me she's the highest ranked angelic in the realm. I said, Really? 
And I'm in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, bitch, you should know who exactly who the fuck I am. <laughs> you, you should not miss the Baron at all. You should know that when this nigga come, don't bring no bullshit to the table. Here you is with a plate full of bullshit. You the highest rank angelic in the realm, but you don't know who the Baron is. That don't make sense. It doesn't. That's a blatant contradiction in my face. Big Mama was in the back of my head saying, shh, shh, don't say nothing. Just listen to everything she got to say. I'm going to tell you when to drag her out. Right? So I'm sitting here one day, you know, going through my receipts. People be sending me receipts. And there was a storm in the south. And it was close to Mexico. And it was fish raining in the street. Ooh. Big Mama say, flip the fish out in the street. Oh, Big Mama, I was waiting on this. No mercy. And I gave it to her, right? It's not personal. A lot of people will listen and they'll hear the vile and the venom and think that it's a personal attack. I take it personal when you lying to my people, misleading them on purpose, knowing that you ain't the highest ranked angelic in the realm that's some bullshit. Mm. Right? So I, I followed the orders, drug ass out, and people been still sending me inboxes talking about, I'm glad I listened to you about ISIS. And then the other ones is, I wish I would have listened to you about ISIS because she did this, that, and the third, told me I ain't have enough money and um, she don't got time for me. That's hustler mentality. It's cra Yo, you know what's crazy? And, you know, I, I understand that you, you don't want to speak on Rashad Jamal, but I'm just going to say something that I have to deal with with clients. Because since I came up with that Orisha video setting things straight, I've had clients that have come to me and I got to clean up shit that they learned from him that be fucking their life up. Yeah. So understand, family, that y'all have to have better discernment, yo, because... I'm telling you this from a person that do this, you know what I'm saying? Of people coming to me for these things with that tradition. And when a person come to me telling me about how things have fallen apart in their life, um, things like that, and now I have to clean it up. And then when they start to clean it up, they telling me how thankful they are. With the brother Rod Hayes is telling y'all, y'all really need to take heed, yo. Because he's not telling you no garbage, man. He telling you real shit. It's time to clean house. And it's time for people to be able. There's reasons why they were quote unquote spiritual leaders, but they have been abused. Okay. It have been corrupted. There's a reason for it because not everybody is meant to be priests and, and, and shamans. And not everybody is meant to be the old lady in the woods that you come and knock on the and she open and she's a seer with with all kind of shit in their cabin. It's the reason for that. We the ones who help to keep society in a balance. But what happens when the people that are supposed to keep society in a balance start to corrupt it, start to lead you astray? So you got to get that. That See, when you do the shadow work, you already have confronted all of that same shit that they come into you with in yourself. Right, so you didn't cleaned up so much shit doing the shadow work that when they come with the bullshit, you your instinct gonna kick in. You are gonna hear Big Mama in the back of your head say, "That bitch can't do that shit. She can't do that. She not authorized to do that. She who who gave her her ifa hand? Right? She ain't no better than these bootleg babalows from Nigeria. They be hustling motherfuckers." In the inbox. In your inbox. Mm -hmm. Fucking it, it up for the real it, one. <clears throat> if a real Bible law is not coming to you. If a motherfucker come in your inbox and tell you they're a Bible law, that's a goddamn lie. A hmm. real Bible law is going to be at his motherfucking place of uh, a practice, practicing, doing his spiritual work, and you have to go find that motherfucker. Yes, sir. You, he ain't going to be popping up in your inbox talking about um, do you need me to do some money rituals for you? Facts. See, they take that um, poverty mindset and capitalize on it 
by telling you they can do a ritual to get you money for a fee. Bible laws don't operate like that. Yeah. You know? So when they come with that bullshit, tell them kiss your ass. Block their ass. Banish them. Banish their ass. You know what I'm saying? And that's some real shit, man. You got to really, you got to really have discernment, y'all. And you got to really start seeing through these people. You know, we, we coming into an age where you're going to be more easily able to see these people, but you got to, like, like our brother said, do the shadow work. You have to do, do the shadow work so that when you see it, you have the inner courage to act on it and do what's right. And that you're not just wanting to be um, under somebody just to be led, just for them to lead you astray. Because that's what happened. Most people don't want leadership positions because of what happened to leaders. But leaders are not made. They born. Right. And life is going to make sure that it teaches them enough lessons by the time they become an elder where they can give you the information. They can tell you, don't listen to that bullshit. Go back to your motherfucking family first. Ask your elders in your fucking family where y'all from. Most of our elders, they don't say it outright that you are native to this land. They tell it to us like this. Well, we got Indian in our blood. My granddaddy was the Cherokee or Iroquois or Choctaw. We was Blackfoot on my grandmama's side. They telling you who the fuck you is. You don't believe what the, what, what the system tell you over your family, what they already been knowing. For hundreds of thousands of years and 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 that's another thing i tell people everybody like like our brother said we from the earth yo we our people was everywhere you you understand so everybody's everybody's makeup is going to be different from the next person everybody where everybody came is going to have a different makeup it's going to have a different things on their origins or where they get how they got here you know what I'm saying? And when you start to understand this, you can dig into you instead of, you know, going with some Hebrew Hershey like stuff or whatever, just because a doctor said it or somebody came smooth talking. you. Go actually dig in, you know, because there's a lot of confusion, especially like I see with like Hebrew Israelite communities and things like that, where it starts to get loopy. Do your own due diligence, y'all. who have makeups of different places you know what i'm saying like some people have ties to different parts of the world you get what i'm saying like somebody could have had native american in their bloodline and have a claim to the land and at the same time they could have bloodlines that came from other parts of the world that added to who they are today it's, this is a lot of years that got you here motherfucker. not just a couple people it's a lot of people that ended up for you to get where you at so understand y'all have to really dive into yourself that's really what we're telling y'all and allow those that are trusted in your life to help you along that journey but ultimately you got to walk because you got the two feet i can't move your motherfucking feet rod hayes cannot move your feet and just walk like you a robot you got to move your own feet and use your own fucking brain and believe in yourself and things that the ancestors will bring you to know who you are but yes. people may, hold up somebody says something real key vampires energy vampires yo yeah but how does it work this is how it works i see king brew over here doing this thing right i need to get in on that because he's making a whole bunch of people listen I don't have anything better than what you have to offer. So all I can do is suck from you what you offering and regurgitate it like I came up with it. Right? I just stole your energy. Right? You the one put in the work to get your e hand. Right? You the one had to go through your initiation rites. So here these motherfuckers come pretending. We all know 
one when we when they come with the bullshit, our first man say this is some bullshit. And you know what we do? Ignore it. <laughs> you know why we ignore it? Because the system said that you cannot possibly be smart enough on your own to make your own choices. You need somebody to make them for you. Mm. And being told that from a child to an adult, it becomes part of who you are to listen to what another motherfucker say over your instincts. Tune in to your higher self. You can't lie to yourself, but everybody in the world, 8.4 billion people can lie to you. Right. But you can't lie to yourself. Ask yourself to answer. It's going to occur to you sometime later the answer to the question. The reason it occurs to you is because your higher self went and found the answer. Yeah. So when you say, when you see Rod Hayes and you say, I wonder if this nigga telling the truth, right? Now you coming from the position of, I don't know. So when you said, I wonder if you telling the truth, talk to yourself, self-talk. They told you you're crazy for talking to yourself. It's just your lower self talking to your higher self. Go ahead. So you tell your lower self, tell your higher self, hey, I need to know if this nigga right. I need to know if he on the path for the righteous or if he a deceiver. Mm. Right? Then something gonna happen, totally different. A motherfucker send you a message out the blue. Hey, you heard that nigga right, hey? That nigga the truth. That's because the answer has to come to you because you sent your higher self to get it. Right? And then when you hear it, you can automatically know, oh, this is the answer from my higher self. You don't know why you know it or how you know it. You just know it without knowing it. That's real. And don't let people, when y'all start seeing the truth, don't let a motherfucker talk you out of the truth with, with guilt because they're going to say, oh, look at our people. 